What's up, y'all? It's your boy Juwan, and you are about to now watch another episode of All About That Beast. <laughs> Hopefully, by now you've seen um, the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I promise this is going to be better. Each episode is going to be better than the first one or the last one. Um, I'm actually now headed to have lunch with one of my old co workers, and we're going all the way back to um, where my journey ended before Ain't Too Proud began. And so, um, get to take you inside and just, you know, meet some of my folks. And then we're gonna sit down and have lunch with one of my friends who I, I think is, um, she played a real special part of, I think why I actually, you know, booked Ain't Too Proud. She would switch her lunch with me and, you know, she just helped out a lot. So, I'll see y'all in a second. So I'm here. Where it all started. Oh, that's Terry in the background. Say hey, Terry. Oh, hey. <laughs> Stage door. This is where I used to work at, y'all. Broadway.com, Broadway Across America. And we're coming back to meet for lunch for with some friends. I'll take y'all back. Just to get a little sneak peek. I used to see these every day come to work. I go hard and everybody on the wall. And I'm like, my picture's coming next, hopefully. Come on now. Y'all gonna have to put Ain't Too Proud somewhere in here now. Next. I'm just saying. But this is the call center where I used to work. And I'll be here every day. Okay, so one of the perks working at Broadway.com is all the free sodas. And this is what I would take every day at my desk. Now, Canada Dry Ginger Ale is not sponsoring us, so, you know, this is free advertisement. I'm just letting y'all know, but this is what I drink every day. What's up, man? And then we got my desk buddy, my desk buddy, <laughs> Glenn. Oh, I love her. So we about to chat with her some more. Hey, y'all. So, me and Glenn just came from lunch, catching up. Oh, I love her so Hi. much. Here's a fun fact and a, and a true story. So Glenn is partly responsible for getting me Ain't Too Proud because she switched lunches with me in order for me to go to the call That's back right. that day. It's all, it's all because of me. It's all because of her. She, You know what's actually funny? She always was switching lunches with me anytime I auditioned for stuff. Like she was always, well, I'll go to her and our friend Heather. I will always go to them if I couldn't get it off and they would switch their lunches with me. And I'm so grateful that they did. See, you need people like this in your life that work with you, that you're kind. See, being kind to people pays off, and this is why, and I have her to thank. So, thank you, Glenn, from me. Because <laughs> I wouldn't be in a too proud because of her, probably. Glad but. everybody knows you're a star now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go to the next thing, and I'll see y'all in a second. And now we're in the theater now. I know a lot of you have asked about this so let me show you the magic before it gets crazy 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 so this is the calm before the storm i stand here every night and look out in the audience that's insane i'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of what my costumes or what my station look like so i travel off stage and this is my section and I come over here so this is my section in the show where I come and I do all my quick changes and all the magic happens and turns me into Melvin Franklin from old Melvin to young Melvin to deaf Melvin I have so many costumes uh oh I'm messing up um, and this is my little section here I sit there drink my water I occasionally look at myself <laughs> um, just because um, and I'll see y'all in a second at my dressing room okay so first show's done we are now about to go talk to what I like to call them the first ladies of Ain't Too Proud um, get to know them a little bit better and um, chat with them some so stay tuned we are going upstairs <laughs> as soon as I get some clothes on I put some clothes on get out of here Okay, y'all. So we're about to go upstairs, talk to some of the girls, see who's upstairs. <sighs> now, here's the thing. 
they're at the very top of the building. So I got to walk up all these stairs. And you know what? That's why they're so in shape and that's why their bodies look so great because they got to walk all the way to the top of the building. <laughs> so here's our female ensemble dressing room. Let's see who's here. Knock, knock. Uh-oh, we're about to see who's here. Oh, it's Candace. This is our Diana Ross, y'all. What's up, Hi. Candace? Not much. Say hey to Broadway.com. Hello, Broadway.com. So right now you are on all about that bass, you know. Ooh, it's all about yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You wanna uh, all about that. <laughs> so Candace plays the leading lady in Motown. If anybody who knows anything about Motown, you already know who that is. And who is that, Candace? Miss Diana Ross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, what's your favorite part about, about playing Diana? Um, I love I love being able to and just embody her. Really, mm -hmm. her dresses, the the wigs, the, everything, the, nah. the beauty, the glam. So, yeah. how long it, did it take you to like? prep for did you already have like a notion I mean everybody knows who she was but like yeah. what other research did you do <laughs> to you know kind of like give her essence right I had been studying Diana for years um, YouTube videos interviews with her um, just really looking into the kind of her backstory and her mannerisms and just kind of why she, how she, why she is the way she is um, and um, yeah, I, I really had been studying for quite some time um, and kind of became even more obsessed with her than I already was. Uh, I love that. And yeah. listen, y'all, she sings down. You hear me? <laughs> Woo! First of all, all the ladies in the, the cast can sing. And what I love about it is that they have four unique different sounds. Nobody sounds alike, mm -hmm. which is what I like and which is why you know i can appreciate each of them individually um, because they're so different um but you'll be seeing more of her later on on the vlog yeah so we're gonna come back it was good chatting with you we're about to see who else in here and see if we can catch somebody sleeping or something baby i was about to sleep uh-oh who oh, is hey. that oh look at uh oh Everybody getting, you know, this is what they do in the show. This is Rashedra. I mean, Rashidra. <laughs> What's up? So Rashidra plays Josephine, and she plays a pianist. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm your favorite rehearsal pianist. Listen, she, that's one of my favorite parts in the show because she comes out and she always looks crazy. She has this crazy face. You never know what she's going to look like, what her wig going to be doing, what her hair going to be like, nothing. And so. It's all for you. You know, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, come on, harmonize. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rashida, tell us a little bit about the characters you play and um, kind of like your journey. My journey with the show or my journey with the characters? Your journey with the characters, not oh, the show. We don't okay. got enough time. I only got 15 look, minutes. I, I got to be get specific now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's Pacific. See. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be Pacific. Um, my, ooh, I love my piano player is a uh, kind of an homage to my childhood piano player, okay. Joyce White Tasby. Back in the day, she used to pop your knuckles with a pin if ah. you, you weren't holding your fingers right. And so oh, I wow. always make sure to like hold them correctly on the piano. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what I'm actually playing, but uh -huh. it's fun. You know, yeah. I don't know. That's good. Also, she judges y'all real badly because y'all look crazy. Also, <laughs> y'all. Also, y'all. Uh-oh. She's a... Uh, uh -oh. The uh, throat stopper. Huh? The throat stopper. <laughs> she sings if you don't know no. me by now, and I know y'all done heard the album all across America. And if you haven't, go get it. If you haven't, go get it. Come on, it's 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 on streaming streaming everywhere. Everywhere. You know, iTunes on SoundCloud. No, it better not be on SoundCloud. That's free. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But go buy it. Go on buy it if you have not gotten the album, y'all. Yes. Like it's. We put our blood, sweat, and tears in there, and they've been doing a good singing. My Everybody. favorite part about that album, though, recording it and listening to it, is actually hearing your bass line. Oh, because I can't hear it in the mix in the show. It makes God, me so, so happy. good. I'm just so glad because I was. Wait, I'll be singing too hard, y'all. <laughs> wait, what? She actually has. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be your third cover. Y'all think I'm playing? Go ahead. Wait, what? All the things. 
Okay. Oh God. All the things I can't do it that low. That we've been through. We've been through. That is. You should understand me. Yeah. Like I understand you. Oh, but baby, I know the difference between right and wrong. I ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> Come on. You got it. <laughs> Y'all, hire her. Hire her for the next gig, y'all. So now we about to come next door, really, behind her, to the sultry, sexy. And she got a good hair on today. Look at her lip. That cut is everything. This is an in between show look for you, Mrs. Naja Thomas, y'all. Woo! First of all, before I even. <laughs> Before, Wait a minute. <laughs> before I um, I got to show you the station. Connection <laughs> 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 has the most eccentric station hey, I think in the welcome. room. Welcome, <laughs> you only showing that station off because you want it so much. And then no. I like it because I, I pop up hey. here and there. <laughs> Is that I the other place? I think that's it for now. Oh my like, lord! Uh, this is Nasia, also uh, Harlem's auntie. They all are Harlem's aunties, but yeah. Naja be on it. That's my What's up, Naja? Who do you play? <laughs> Tell us who you are and where you come from. And uh, what's your social security number? Okay. Hello! <laughs> hey! Um, my name is Naja. I play Tammy Terrell, uh, Mama Rose, who is Melvin Franklin's mama. That's my mama, y'all. Hey. So, pause. Yes. So, before pause. I joined the show, it was a Sunday, it was a brunch day. And I hadn't known anybody. <laughs> and I'm walking down the street, minding my own business. And so this girl runs up to me and was like, hey, I'm going to be your mama. I said, what? I'm sorry? <laughs> She's like, oh, I, I mean, I mean, ain't too proud. I heard you in there. I play your mama. I'm like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> so that was my very first introduction to Nasia <laughs> on the random street in New York. Okay, now resume. True. <laughs> yes, um, and I was very excited because I had heard about it. The Juwan Jackson that you see here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I play Tim Terrell, Mama Rose, and one of the Supremes. Um, I also play Bar Groupie Number Two with the Afro, Prisoner Number Five, Nurse Jackie, and Temptation Twenty One. Listen, Temptation Twenty One. <laughs> <laughs> because at some point, at some point in the show, all the women play men, mm -hmm. and um. Once we get all the girls, because all the girls aren't here, so I want to get them all together so we can have a deep discussion about that and um, hopefully get some fun. So maybe you'll catch it on this episode or maybe you'll catch it on the next one. We'll see because, you know, we got to talk about it. Yeah. Because yeah. they're, they're, they're in, there are four women, five really, five women in the show of heavily, you know, a man ensemble. And so I just want to hear their thoughts. I want to hear everything. Mm -hmm. So I, so y'all can hear it too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you. It's a little wobbly. So now we're about to go downstairs. I got to eat, y'all. And oh, then I also yes. got to get this wig cut. So maybe you follow me to get my hair cut, too. So we'll see. I'm back, y'all. Okay, so now's the time. It's very important for me because this is how I keep my freshness. Thanks to this guy right here. Yes, sir. Mr. Val Jean, <laughs> the barber. You know it, baby. He comes <laughs> here once a week for us. Um... And he cuts my hair. Like, listen, let me tell you about the grace. Having a barber come to on you site. on site is love. And it's so clutch. Especially yeah. when you, you, your, your schedule's so busy. So I definitely appreciate him. So he's about to get this wig together real quick. And then y'all see the y'all see the after the minute. Ooh. I know you want to leave me. But I refuse to let you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are done. Cuts. Woo. Done. Woo. Woo. Boy, look at clean. Look at Fresh. Oh, yo. Val, tell them where they can find you at, how they can keep in touch. So, definitely on Instagram, Cathedra NYC. C A T H E D R A N Y C. Look me up, send me an uh, invite, a friend request. Sign in the DM. Sign in the DM, all of that. I got you. Get it. Most yeah. definitely, them haircuts are going to be sharp, baby. Listen, all the time. Appreciate you. I'm about to get ready for this show now. Show number two. And I'll come back to y'all. 
y'all at the end of that so then we can recap and decap <laughs> about this episode. <laughs> See y'all soon. Hey y'all, episode number two is now done. Show number two is now done. And if you're still watching, that means you made it and you are the best. I love y'all so much. I cannot wait. And one thing I forgot to tell y'all last week was uh, my social handles. You know, you gotta stay connected with me. So follow me on Twitter at Juwan Jackson 4 and then on Instagram at Juwan Jackson, okay? Keep in touch, stay in touch. I wanna hear you. If you got any questions that you want answered, I'll answer those on the next episodes and get to those and you know we just want to have fun so I love y'all I'm also going to put the Instagram handles of everybody that's been in the videos at the end so you guys can stay in touch with them as well okay and as always I'm going to leave y'all with something inspirational and that is don't let yesterday take up too much of today okay live every moment in the moment okay you can't dwell on the past it's already happened Check it forward. I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all next week. And all about that bass, about that bass. Uh, uh, it's all about that bass, bass, bass. <laughs> Peace, y'all.